Welcome to P2. Today we're looking at definite integrals. Now, this is when we are calculating an integral between two limits. And that's when it's called a de definitive or definite integral. Okay, and it usually produces a value. Now, if I start with an integral, say something like 5x cubed dx, normally when you integrate this, you would be going, right, well, I add 1 to the power, divide by that power, and then, of course, I get my plus c. And that's what I end up with. Now, it's slightly different now when we have a definite integral. So with a definite integral, we have a set of limits. So for example, maybe I've got the limit from four to one. And what I end up doing is integrating this. And when I integrate it, I put it into squared brackets. Okay, this type of bracket that you see in here. So I'm gonna get four, five X to the power four over four in my brackets and then what I need to do is I need to take my limits and put them on the outside of my bracket. So this becomes four and one, okay? It's important to set this out correctly. You will get marked down if you're not doing this in the exam. So you should already be aware if you've been taught it, but you need to make sure that you're using squared brackets. What we then do, it doesn't matter now if we use uh, normal brackets afterwards, Okay, but now we're going to substitute our values in. So this is going to become 5, and then I'm replacing x with 4 from my limit. Minus, and then I replace x by 1 from my limit. Okay, and then I just need to work these out. And this will give me 320 minus 5 over 4, which is 318.75. Now, I can also use this button here in my calculator, so the integral button, to double check my answer. So I'm just going to circle it there. So just double check my answer, I use this button. It's a numerical different integration, okay? So it'll only give you the numerical answer which on its own is no good in an exam, but it is good for double checking your answers. So I put the integral button in, I put the integral exactly as I see it here, and I check my answer, okay? So very good for you to be able to double check your answer in the exam before you kind of move on to the next question. Now let's look at the second example here. First thing I need to do is separate these out. So, it's nice also to perhaps sometimes just put an i equals for the integral. Um, this is something that we use especially later on in year 13. So it just means that you can use it instead of having to rewrite the full integral out again. So x to the power 5 divided by x is x to the power 4 plus 5x dx. Okay, now I put these in brackets just to show it's one integral. This I can actually separate out into two separate integrals. So I could write it like this. Equally, I could write it and take this five outside as well. Um, I put it like that, but I'd also need a dx in all of them. Okay. So that's what you're integrating with respect to. But it's just as easy to keep it as we're doing here. Now, our limits are 3 and 1. So let's integrate this. So we're going to get x to the power 5 over 5 plus 5x squared over 2. And then my limits, 3 and 1. So now you're not using any constant. There's no plus C. So we've got now 3 to the power of 5 over 5 minus 
oops, sorry, plus five lots of three squared over two. And all of that is minus one to the power of five over five plus five lots of one squared over two. And this will give me 711 over 10 minus 27 over 10. And that gives me 68.4. Then remember to use this button in your calculator to double check and you can see here 68.4. Now, one final example here. And this is really to focus on this constant. So when I'm solving this, what I can do is I can actually take that constant outside. Okay, because a number three times doesn't matter if I deal with it at the beginning or the end. I'm just multiplying my values by three. So now integrating x to the power of four is going to become x to the power of five over five. And this is between five and two. So we've got three lots of 5 to the power of 5 over 5 minus three lots of 2 to the power of 5 over 5. So all I did here was substitute my 5 in for x and then my 2 in for x. But this time, because we're multiplying by 3, there's 3 times that first bracket and 3 times that second bracket. And that gives me 1, 8, 5, 5.8 and you can see here from checking in my calculator it is the same answer okay remember this is the button here so always check in your calculator at the end okay this is a perfectly acceptable calculator for exams is actually the recommended calculator on edXL or directly from edXL so it is allowed, okay? Numerical integration and differentiation is allowed, just not symbolic, okay? Just in case your teachers tell you otherwise.